Chapter 11, Section 6, Variance Analysis. Often, science is defined as the difference that makes a difference. Variance analysis is exactly about this point. Technically speaking, we try to identify root causes that explain differences of the outcome of a process by splitting up the log into different sublogs. For splitting up the log, we may determine a certain characteristic of process success, such as, for example, if the transaction was successful or not, if an application was accepted or rejected, if a stay in a hospital was long or short. Based on this criteria, we can identify which traces belong to the category of traces that fulfill this criterion. In this way, we obtain two event logs from a single event log. For example, one event log that is including all the successful cases and a second event log that is including all the unsuccessful cases. Variance analysis is then concerned to find out in how far these two logs are different. This may give us an understanding why in certain situations things work out good or bad. Let's have a look at a few examples that illustrate this idea. The first is an example of a project that was conducted with the Australian insurance group Suncorp. Suncorp observed that there were several claims that they received that could be classified as simple. You would usually expect that a simple claim is also processed quickly. Surprisingly, it turned out that there were simple claims that were processed quickly, while other simple claims were processed slowly. Variance analysis was used to find out about the root causes of this. Here we see two abstracted process models that stem from this analysis. Even though we cannot read the actual name of the activities, we see that the processes are different. On the left-hand side, the simple and fast claims are those that are actually straight through processed. From A, activities B, F and D are triggered, and the process continues with activity C and G as well. This leads to completion. The process that is working slow is shown on the right-hand side. The claims also start with activity A, but we observe here that activity B is repeated in many cases. Out of the almost 14,000 cases, more than half of them have been iterating. There's also a second loop, and this loop iterates from activity D to activity E. These repetitions are a good explanation why these simple claims are slower. Let's look at another example where process mining was applied to identify explanations for differences. The variance analysis here refers to the St. Andrews War Memorial Hospital, 
This is a hospital in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. For certain treatment, it was observed that some cases resulted in short stays, while other cases resulted in long stays. You see that the process on the left hand side and on the right hand side are partially different. By inspecting the different models, the analysts have been able to identify certain patterns that they observe for the model on the left hand side but not on the model on the right hand side and vice versa. Identifying those patterns is key for understanding the root causes, why a stay actually results in being short or long. 